All right, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe, and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the Twin Flames, okay? This is not a personal, this is not a private, so it is not going to resonate with each and every one of you. In the event that this is not your reading, you can go and check out another one of the Twin Flame readings that I have here on the channel, all right? So off rip, I have a clear audience message for you guys, all right? Somebody attempted to eight of cups. Now, whether it be you, all right, or your person, somebody attempted to eight of cups, all right? However, after spending a little bit of time, you know, on this spiritual journey, on this quest, on this sacred path, if you will, someone has, you know, been, um, how do I put it? put in a position where they're being drawn back to you for whatever reason or another. Now, they may not even be able to explain it themselves, but what Spirit showed me was the chariot in reverse, okay? And I haven't even pulled any cards yet. So the chariot in reverse would literally be like someone wanting to move forward and being stopped in their tracks. So Spirit stops them. This doesn't feel like a free will choice, okay? So this is gonna be an interesting reading already. That was the clear audience message. Don't know who it's for. It could be you that was being stopped and you know, in your tracks, it could be them but let us see what's going on we got heartbroken and we have mask okay so somebody is heartbroken somebody broke their own heart okay they wore a mask for too long okay we have cassette here we have girl with a snake okay so yeah um someone just keeps thinking about how they allowed themselves to be charmed or how they allowed themselves to be manipulated in some way here all right so let us see what we have going on thank you spirit what are the messages for the twins very interesting way to start. We have acts, okay? Yeah, so somebody sabotaged the connection here, all right? Somebody sabotaged the connection in some way, shape, from a fashion, and they caused a separation. Now they're being, I guess, the reason spirit is stopping whoever in their tracks is because they have a pattern that they need to stop, all right? Maybe this is something that they do often, not just with you, but all the time. You get what I'm saying? When they just, whenever they feel away or whenever they can't deal with something directly or they don't want to, silent treatment you get what i'm saying abandonment all right that type of thing um it could be to this fear here because they don't want to get abandoned but it's not an excuse i'm just telling you guys all right i want you to think oh she's being biased she's taking their side no i don't even know who this person is so it's, it's impossible for me to take their side but you know that's the energy that i feel here like this person they are afraid of you abandoning them so they abandon you first it's very weird all right so then we have passion all right so passion is here hmm insane chemistry you like each other equally you have a good time all right because it says having fun so why the beef why the silent treatment why the abandonment okay let us get deeper here we have the golden mirror okay hmm this could be someone who's a narcissist guys okay that's what it says this is a person who's self-absorbed so when you hear narcissist you think all of the worst of the worst of the worst things right this is somebody who's literally just protecting themselves and they're out for self now yeah it sounds very selfish and that's exactly what it is but this person has in some way either they've been taught this or they've learned this throughout the course of whatever they've gone through in their personal experiences right that they have to be there for themselves and protect themselves because if they don't they're going to get hurt but in the process they're hurting people okay you being one of them all right so that's what i'm getting here um, it says one-sided relationship, love bombing, okay? So, yeah, with the underlying energy of Cupid's arrow. So, it's like this person is a narcissist, yes. You get what I'm saying? They have narcissistic tendencies, maybe. We don't want to go ahead and just slap the label on them, but, I mean, spirits doing that, kind of. Um, so, maybe they just have some tendencies, which, like I tell you guys, I feel like all of us do. Um, but this person, it might not be no balance there with that. You get what I'm saying? They don't they don't take other people into consideration during they think about it after the fact like, oh damn that was messed up maybe i shouldn't have did it like that and that's kind of where they go wrong okay um that's where i feel like love bombing is probably emphasized here in the situation because once again it's nothing wrong with showing a person love it's nothing wrong with um withdrawing when you feel like maybe you're doing too much or they're doing too much but it is something wrong with kind of going silent not saying anything not expressing those things just kind of leaving somebody with question marks there's something wrong with that you know and then coming back and be like oh hey like nothing's wrong there's definitely something wrong with that pattern so i feel like that's why the axe is here and spirit is trying to you know show this person and tell them hey you can't keep doing this this is not going to work okay so it's something going on like that this person is trying to heal their heart or they're being guided to do so because we have healing heart here all right which says healing from heartbreak 
all right freedom from toxic relationship or addiction so this person could have been in several toxic relationships that could have gotten them to behave this way you get what i'm saying or something like that but once again still not an excuse just saying okay mm. that's kind of what i'm seeing here so let us see more messages for it for the twins more messages Ooh, okay so we have cassette all right so yeah this person is thinking of what took place how exactly it happened and they're like okay i do see where maybe there's a problem with that all right and we have wedding rings so hmm you and this person are connected and this is I love the imagery on this card and I love the fact that spirit is making me take my time with this card right now because soul tie is one thing. A soul tie is something that is not necessarily good, right, for you, I would think, right? Soul ties tend to be kind of karmic, right? But this is not a karmic situation. A soul connection, I want you guys to pay attention to this card too, is like these uh, ribbons are not tied, can you guys see them? These, you're going to be able to see them once I do the edit on the video. Um, these ribbons are not tied, okay? But they're connected, they're intertwined. So I think that's kind of one of the things this person is learning. Maybe that's why Spirit showed me the chariot in reverse. This person tried to emotionally withdraw Eight of Cups, walk away from you. Right, haven't even pulled any tarot cards yet, but this is just what they're showing me in my mind. What's underneath this wedding rings? Mirror. So now this this person is realizing, like, okay, wait, this is not one sided. You know, this is not. Um, I'm also getting too. This person could have thought you were a narcissist. You're self-absorbed. You only do things for you or you only care about yourself. You get what I'm saying? Put yourself whichever side you go, but it could also be that as well. Um, but they're realizing now, like, okay, this is not one-sided. This is mutual, okay? Because now I'm hearing that song that's hilarious. Y'all remember that song by Chingy? <laughs> oh, shoot. That's how the person feels. It's like every time they try to leave, you get what I'm saying, for whatever reason. But what are they even leaving for is the thing. So we haven't gotten there yet, I guess. But, okay. Cupid's arrow. So that's why. Okay. Okay. So they keep trying to leave because they love you. That's mad crazy. So basically, like I said, I'm not trying to make excuses for this person, you guys, but this is exactly how it's coming up. I'm taking my time for a reason so I can hear all of the messages that I need to hear for you guys because things seem to be on the up and up with the twins and we want to keep it there, right? We want to keep it right where it's at. This tempo that it's been going in the right direction, yes, let's keep it right there where it's at, right? We don't want to, let's keep it right there, spirit. Um, they're hesitant because they love you. But that's not stopping anything is what it look okay that's what it's looking like because separation says sadness missing you thinking about you yearning okay so yeah you guys are separated but this is all of the feelings that they're having during the separation so how long do you think the separation is going to last not long I think the reason why they continue to do this is because they're unsure of what's going to happen it's, it says unsure of the future like verbatim so perhaps they're unsure of what's going to happen with you guys' connection you know like what exactly does the feelings they have for you mean you know um 
a lot of other things too but it's just like i think they're thinking way too much i'm gonna be completely honest with you whoever this person is they think way too much and when it comes to feelings i mean we're gonna need them to think a little bit less okay and i'm not saying be out here just giving your heart away to everybody but what i am saying is that if this is the feeling they're having where it's freedom flowing and it's peaceful and it's this and it's that and all these other loving things that have been coming up for you guys lately why push it away why run from it why not communicate why why give the silent treatment why why do that i don't get it yeah we have the phoenix and then we have the runner yeah so this this runner is going through a change they're going through a transformation I'm also getting too, I have to tell you guys because I'm, I'm seeing it. Every time this person gets to a place or a point in their life, a point in their journey where they're about to go through this growth, this huge transformation or this huge transformative change that they're about to, you know, go through, shall we say, because it's a lot that they're going to be going through, okay? A lot of changes <laughs> are going to be happening. I'm trying to be nice about it. But every time they go to doing that, here's this girl with the snake. You get what I'm saying? Um, they get charmed again. I don't know. There's somebody around them. You guys. I had to my BFF Jill. They get charmed all the time. See, see, we have the snake, right? I like you, girl with the snake. So, like and love, two different things. Somebody can like you all day. That's what's up. You get what I'm saying? But do they love you? Someone can love you, but do they like you? You get what I'm saying? They're two different things, you guys. And a lot of time people are like, what is love? A very intense like that's not correct. <laughs> it's not correct at all. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not correct. Shoot. But yeah. <laughs> if only it were that simple right what is love a very intense like shit the world would be what you get what i'm saying if it were that simple but this cupid arrow it says have faith so we shall right we shall have faith this person continues to be charmed <laughs> you get what i'm saying i don't know you guys i i you know mm. at this point in their spiritual journey i'm going to say that they should know better okay so we have i'm sorry and wild side these cards keep coming out these um i'm sorry and wild side cards in particular it says i hate how much i've hurt you i'm so sorry for all the pain i've caused you didn't deserve any of it wild side says there's a side to you i haven't seen and want to i want to see you let loose and get wild let's have some fun okay so first of all passion they continue to talk about the passion, your mind, okay, that they have with you, that they feel for you, that you guys feel for each other. Because there's insane chemistry, right? Not just regular degula, all the time, average, mediocre, um, blah, you get what I'm saying, type of whatever you want to call it. No, it's not that, okay? Um, and like I said, they keep trying to pull away, they keep getting pulled back, I don't know. They keep trying and spirit keeps telling them, yeah, that's what we're not going to be doing. And so I don't know what, what the heck they're going to do, to be honest with you. I really don't. Um, but we can wish them well with that though, right? Them trying to walk away from you, be done with you, all that other good jazz. It's really cute, but it's not something that is likely to happen. Okay. Not for them from you, not for you from them. Okay, it's not going down. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to exit out some stuff over here. Okay. Let us continue. So I keep seeing your mind. All right, so they really feel like that. They're like, listen, okay. If there's anyone that I want, it's that one. I want that one. We have Twin Flame. Wow. So they know, okay. They know. They keep trying to act like they don't know. 
or whatever it is that they're doing here and spirit is like okay that's real cute you get what i'm saying like i said the way spirit is showing me the chariot is in reverse the chariot is all about ascending leveling up this that and the third so it's like you can very well ascend yes you can ascend in the right direction <laughs> you can ascend in the right direction go ahead you get what i'm saying but if you continue trying to do whatever it is you're doing in the wrong direction spirit is not going okay so it says you activated my soul to find my true purpose and destiny in life you helped me heal in ways no one else could thank you for finding me again this time around oh that's such a beautiful car you guys <laughs> Because facts, though, facts on facts on facts on facts on mega facts, right? On facts. If you're a twin, you know, like, on facts, okay? I'm single. I tried to put it away. It came out. I don't know. Maybe they are. Maybe they are. Maybe they're single and they're available, but they keep getting sucked into whatever situation they got out of, okay? Who knows? But... The way that they're coming is like they're single, they're available, they want to come to you. This is what they want. All right, I'm single right now. I'm not attached to anyone and not looking to get into a relationship at this time. So they keep their distance, you know. Yes, you're mine. I want you when the time comes. But it's not the time right now, so they think, right? And Spirit is like, okay, go ahead. And hence why the chariot in reverse. So, you know, they could keep doing what they're doing because we have my dreams here. You get what I'm saying? You're their dream, you're their fantasy, you're somebody they want to have adventures with in this earthly existence. You get what I'm saying? So I don't I don't really know what this person is doing. We have mother wounds. Okay, that's what they're doing. They're healing their mother wounds. All right. Um Ooh, this just gave me chills all over my body. Okay. Um okay. Because this is exactly why I'm mindful of how I speak to my boys. You get what I'm saying? This is exactly why I'm mindful of how I speak to them, what I say, and what tone. And the event that, you know, as a parent, sometimes you say something or do something that you think about it afterwards. Like, dang, that might have been kind of harsh. Or maybe I could be a little more lenient or something like that. And you reel it back a bit. Me, I'm not a parent that minds apologizing or explaining themselves or anything. I know a lot of parents don't feel like they should. They're like, I'm an adult. That's a child. We don't do that. And that's part of the problem. Because then that person grows up thinking... They can't express themselves and that's what we're seeing right here okay so for everybody that's like oh no i'm a they're gonna stay in a chapel this is exactly why i'm against stuff like that you get what i'm saying because then you see now this person turns into a narcissist who's not intentionally that way this is an empath on the inside but he's been raised to be a specific type of way because the person that's supposed to be tender and loving and nurturing maybe wasn't that tender and loving and nurturing they could have been very rough or very uh, i mean they could have been loving in ways you get what i'm saying but very dismissive towards certain emotions or things like that you get what i'm saying maybe they weren't too emotional you get what i'm saying or things like that um, like I tell my sons, I love them a lot. Maybe you guys tell your children you love them a lot. This person, maybe they didn't hear that a lot. You get what I'm saying? Or different things like that. They could have heard it every now and again. They could have knew it was there, but maybe they didn't hear it. We don't know. But mother wounds could be anything from, you know, all of those things that I mentioned or di different things, y'all. Worse things. All right. So it says, my mother is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges with connecting to the divine feminine energy within me and externally. Do you see what I'm saying? So if I can't connect to my divine feminine energy within, how am I going to connect to my divine feminine energy that I'm looking at right in front of me? You get what I'm saying? And this is what we're seeing here, y'all. All right. So... <clears throat> We ain't even get into the tarot yet, and it's 19 minutes in. Are we serious? All right, let us see. I'm going to have to do a different reading. You feel like home. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, of course, because you are. They ghost you, then they feel bad about it. But the reason they ghost you is because those feelings inside them, they're searching for them. You wake those feelings up inside them. And then they're like, whoa, I, whoa, you know, because they were told not to have those feelings. They were told not to feel those things. They were told not. So you being there, it's like you're everything that they were told to not. But you feel so good because, yeah, you resonate with their heart. That's why you feel like home. 
So being with you reminds me of simpler times. You bring me so much happiness and peace. What did I say? Everything that we've been talking about this whole time. So, yeah, they go this way because they feel lost. They don't know what to do. So it says, I'm trying to make this work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to do or say anymore. And it's just easier to stay in silence. How sad is that? How very, very sad is that? You know what I mean? And I know you guys be like, oh, she's being biased. She's taking their side. Am I though? You get what I'm saying? Because this is really sad. And then it's like they have people around them or person around them who's charming them. And they don't really make them feel much love. They make them feel much everything else. It might be a lot of lust, a lot of sexual this, a lot of sexual that. But you make them feel deeper than that. And that's what they run from. The sex, okay, that's one thing. You get what I'm saying? That's fine. That's cool. That's this, that's that. That allows them to still be in control of their emotions the way that they were raised to do, to be in control of their emotions and this and that, right? To not cry and blah, 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 which is ridiculous. But no offense to their moms, though, because maybe they just did the best that they could. That's what all mothers do. So that's what they thought was best and that's what they did and it's just not, it's not but we know better now though right so we do better now but maybe they didn't know better right so no offense to their moms but that's what we are seeing here y'all all right we wouldn't ever want to disrespect their moms because without them they wouldn't be here right so much respect obviously to them but it's your but should I say however we don't want to say but because it would cancel out the respect. However, this is just no good. Okay, this is not what we do. All right, so let us see what we got here. Whew, it says, I need to own up to where I feel sure about this relationship. So they do feel sure about you, but all they presented to you is feelings of not being sure at all. You get what I'm saying? Not knowing what's what, not knowing what's going to happen. Like we said, they're unsure of the future. They don't know what the future holds. Therefore, they do this, they do that, blah, 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 right? Because they don't want to hurt you in the long run, but it's hurting you in the in-between. And I think that's kind of where they're like, okay, I'm bugging. You get what I'm saying? I'm bugging out. Let me open up. Let me say. It's a lot. And then once again, you're everything that they were told to not by the most significant person in their life, their mother. Do you understand? All right. So we have, I don't want to let you go. I miss being with you. Okay. Aw, cute. their mother i don't know about you guys but i'm a mother and in my home it's like if i'm not feeling well the world revolves around me everything stops because mommy's not feeling well my husband wants to see what's wrong my sons wants to see what's wrong you get what i'm saying like everything right so your mother is the most intricate when i'm happy everybody's happy you get what i'm saying everything is good everything is well the mother sets the tone so it's that deep it's that real if you don't know that you set the tone as a woman as a mother let me tell you something you set the tone so yeah right it says my mother is a big influence yeah your mother is the biggest influence okay your father yes definitely for sure you get what i'm saying of course but we're talking about the masculine energy here so when it comes to their example of love or what it should be like who do you think that stems from their father or their mother right so let us see what are the messages thank you spirit We'll get back to the Zodiacs later. We have, I miss our conversations and the sound of your voice. Aw. Okay, so they like talking to you. They like having good conversation. Okay, maybe you stimulate their mind in that way. Okay, that's nice. That's a good compliment. Okay. I am afraid for getting too serious. I was hurt before. Like I said, okay, so... Hmm. One of the things I'm getting here too is like, let's say for example, this is someone who had their heart broken, right? Really, 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 really bad. They could have turned to their mother and they could have um, cried about it to their mother and just different things like that. You get what I'm saying? Their mother was like, well, you get what I'm saying? Or we don't know. It could have been anything along those lines. Like, oh, well, don't, don't get too attached or I don't know, anything. Just weird, random things. And it's like, why would you tell them that? Aren't you a woman? You know, it's just weird. 
weird things that people say at the wrong times because they want to cheer their child up. And it's like, are you sure that's the right thing to tell them, though? No, because they going to really believe that shit and run with it. You know what I mean? But it says, I still love you and I can't stop thinking about you. Okay, so no matter what, whether they are trying to run from you or not, it's like they still love you. They can't stop thinking about you. They're trying to um, heal themselves during this time. And honestly speaking, that's what they need to do. But then they keep getting caught up by whoever this other person is, this, this clever, charmer, third party person. You get what I'm saying? Um, it says, I know what you mean to me. I am ready to be with only you now because you feel like home. But even though they're ready, they're not quite ready. You feel like home, but they're still feeling lost. All they will have to do is come to, what do you call it? Like, keep the porch light on, right? <laughs> Divine Feminine, keep the porch light on. All right, sis? So we got... <laughs> oh, snap. So we have, I don't want to let go or let you go. I miss being with you. I love you so much, but I keep running from you. I don't understand why I do this. Well... I just broke it down for you. This is why you do it. <laughs> I just broke it down for the masculine. Go on and send it to them. If this resonates with your masculine, you know it resonates with your masculine. You feel it in your gut. You got chills all over your body or just off of their behavior, the way that they do things, their patterns, something they mentioned to you before, something, you know, you don't have to go and share this with their mama. I didn't say go share this with their mama. I said share this with them. It's between y'all. You get what I'm saying? But <sighs> this is why you do this, bro. Okay, because you're scared, because you're afraid of being hurt, because of how much you care for your feminine, you're afraid that your feminine will hurt you. And she probably more than likely, most likely won't. Okay, and I have to say probably because it's just realistic. Okay, to think that you wouldn't get hurt or nothing would hurt or bother you is very unrealistic. However, you get what I'm saying? To say that you love somebody and you're going to run away from them is kind of crazy, bro. It's kind of crazy. So the underlying energy here is... Don't forget about me. I haven't forgot about you. And yeah, I need to own up to where I feel sure about this relationship. Exactly. So the masculine understands that. That's exactly what I'm guessing they're going to do. I'm going to um, pull some of these. I haven't pulled some of these in a minute. But uh, I'm going to. Okay. And then we're going to wrap it up. And after that, I'm going to take me a break. <laughs> like Monica said, it's just one of them days. All right. <clears throat> All right. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Okay. Hmm. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Hmm. Butterflies, hearts, <laughs> lots of lovey shit. We have criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Hmm. <laughs> yeah you gotta say that junk on cue and then we have look deep within your heart and you will feel my love let me see I'm looking there. let me see my love for you is as deep as the ocean hmm. underlining here says wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course y'all gonna like something wrong with her but for real look in your heart they say you'll find their love for you inside of there okay but if this was your message or you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe peace and have grace